This is Blazers All Access, an inside look at UAB athletics. Presented by Pepsi, a Southern original. And Viva Health, part of the UAB health system. Here's the voice of the Blazers, David Crane. We welcome you to Blazers All Access as we go one-on-one -on -one with head coach Trent Dilfer following the green and golds lost down at Tulane last Saturday. Let's get the Pepsi game recap, 35 23, the final coach. A lot of good things in that ball game, but it seemed like a little mistake here, a little mistake there proved awfully costly for you. Can I first say that I hated September? <laughs> join, join the club. I'm glad it's October. Uh, no. Turn the calendar, turn yes, the page, do exactly. all that stuff. Yeah, same old story. I mean, I'm, I, I'm joking about it, but it, it's still eating away at all of us in the building. Like, that's a game we had control of. You know, you're looking as a coach, as a team, where you feel like you have control of a game. And the first half, we felt like we had control. Slipped away a little bit there in the first half of that drive, but still, we went into halftime like, hey, we're doing what we practiced for the first time. And there was confidence, there was swag, there was uh, clarity of mind, and then we're just not able to go out there in that second half and execute. And it really just came, to, came down to energy and execution. I thought our energy lacked a little bit in the second half. And execution-wise, just like these silly, mis both coach and player now, now, this isn't just player. Mm -hmm. Coach and player, these silly little cracks in the armor that are getting us beat, and that's on me. Like, I, I, people are looking to point the finger, point it here. That is my job to make sure there's no leakage. I am not doing a great job with that, and I'm, you know, grinding along today to, to make sure I fix that. Let's get our blazer of the game brought to you by Viva Health. One of the bright spots, the running game. Isaiah mm -hmm. Jacobs, 18 carries, 95 yards, two touchdowns. Seemed like you were able to run it more effectively and consistently on Saturday. Offensive line had the best week of practice in the run game. Uh, Tuesdays was phenomenal. Wednesday was hit or miss. Thursday was good. Friday cleanup was good. Um, backs ran hard. Uh, Mort called a really good game. Um, mixing it, you know, you, to run it well, you have to mix it. You, know, you can't just sit there like, hey, we're going to run it every down. Like, you got to mix it. He mixed it well. Uh, yes, a bright spot. Uh, unfortunately, there were times where we needed to convert in the run game. We didn't, so there's still a lot to prove on there. Um, but it is something we can build off of. Are you getting sacked by monthly fees on your checking account? Trent Dilfer here, head coach of the UAB Blazers. Legacy Credit Union's everyday checking account can get you back in the game. No minimum balance, no monthly fees, and get paid up to two days early. Check out LegacyCreditUnion.com for more information and apply today. Legacy, the official credit union of UAB. Time now for Next Up for the Blazers, brought to you by Legacy Credit Union. And next up, the first home conference game of the year, USF. Another potent offense you'll have to face on Saturday. Yeah, and the defense is playing pretty well, too. You know, they had a rough year last year. They, Alex Golish, their head coach, did an incredible job building a neat staff. Um, really good football players they brought in. Got some of the ones that stayed to play at a much higher level. Uh, yes, the headliners, their offense. They're super explosive. Alex is one of the best offensive minds in all of football. Proved it at Tennessee. Proved it in his background, not just Tennessee, where Iowa State, the other places he was at. Uh, and he knows a lot of offense. So you just can't get prepared for one thing. You have to prepare for a lot of things. So a huge challenge. Quarterbacks playing at a really high level. Um, they, they can really run the football. You know, everybody thinks it's just this you know, spread attack where they're going to throw it over the yard. They will if you load up against the run. But they want to pummel you in the run game. So we have not been very good against the run. Uh, we got to stop that. And uh, we got, like, listen, I think the American Conference is full of challenges. This is the next one. This is a great challenge. And, and we got to uh, pick ourselves up and get ready for it. The if in life, it's a world of possibilities. If you go for a night out with friends, if you can keep an eye on your money along the way, if you know you have overdraft protection with no fee transfers from savings, when you get a low balance alert, it's easier to say yes to fun. If that sounds good, try Regions Life Banking. Stay ready for the if in life. Regions Bank embrace the if in life. It's UAB in South Florida this Saturday at Protective Stadium. We're on the air at 2 p.m. We kick at 3 o'clock ESPN2 televising the matchup. You can listen to the broadcast on Jocks 94.5. 
It's another game that makes it a special game, but this one a little extra special with Children's Harbor attached to it once again. I think a lot extra special. You know, now I've been here for a year, almost a year, and, and gotten to know the history here. I love what uh, our institution and Bill Clark did to get this game started. Uh, it means so much more than just a gray jersey with live numbers, right, and names on the back. Uh, this has tremendous impact on the families that we're representing. I happen to be one of those families, you know, like years ago when we lost our son, we lived in Lucille Packard Children's Hospital for 40 days. If there would have been a Children's Harbor um, to serve our family, to support our family, oh my gosh, a horrible situation becomes less horrible. Um, what Children's Harbor does is life-changing, and we want to represent that, not just how we play, but how we interact with the kids, how we interact with the families, how we represent ourselves. Like, it's so much bigger than just a football game. The football game is important, um, but the meaning behind the football game, the Children's Harbor game, is, is paramount to this institution, to this coach, uh, to this football team, and, and I can't wait for it to be the, the, the headliner this week. You know what I mean? I don't want the headliner to be home American opener. That's a, that's a cool thing. But the headliner is that Children's Harbor um, is who we're representing and, and the impact they have in this community and other communities. Hope to see you at Protective Stadium on Saturday. For Coach Dilfer, I'm David Crane. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time on Blazers All Access. This is Blazers All Access, an inside look at UAB athletics. Presented by Pepsi, a Southern original. And Viva Health, part of the UAB health system.